folks, this is Vincent Adderley with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Adventure Mart. This game supports two to four players. It's for ages 10 and up, and the average play time is 45 to 60 minutes. It's worth mentioning that this is our first time playing, so we're not going to get all of the rules right, but we will most certainly try, as usual. Here's a quick look at the box insert. There's everything there. Came with a couple of baggies. Um, Roll book. <laughs> <laughs> the rule book is roughly uh, 15 to 16 pages long. Does a pretty good job. This is a fairly simple deck builder with like managing a store elements where you're going to be selling stock to adventurers that show up. Players will be uh, starting with a standard deck of cards. Um, the standard deck of cards that they start with are these purple cards here. In the bottom left-hand corner are little symbols. So each player is going to get a deck of unique symbols. So one player would get all of these red circles on the bottom left. One player would get all of the yellow triangles on the bottom left and so on. And these are just the starter cards to form a player starting deck. And these are the ones that we're not using because we're playing a two-player game. Um, there are some daily bulletins. These are round modifiers that will appear uh, once every round up to five rounds. Um, these are the ones we're not using. Uh, there are five here for us to flip up, one for each round of the game. There's some money up here. There's also the initiative token. Whenever someone initiates a sale, and we'll get there, that player will take this token, and the quality of what they offer the customer will go up by one automatically, and the amount of money they make will also go up by one automatically. But again, I'm getting ahead of myself. Long story short, this is an initiative token, and it'll be passed back and forth as we initiate sales and so on. You've got a stock row. These are cards that will be added to your stock deck here, um, and players will be able to buy these cards at cost. Uh, for the bottom left-hand corner of the card is the amount of money you have to pay in order to equip it into your, into your hand and then thus into your deck. Um, and then some of these cards have like keywords review. Um, these are like special actions that players can take. Uh, some are like end game and the review keyword here is for end game. Add two money to your net worth for each other particular, um, what is that, a company, Evaldi Forge stock in your store. There are four companies in this game. There's blue, red, green, or I'm sorry, there's three guilds, blue, red, and green. There's also four companies. I don't remember their names off the top of my head, but there'll be like little symbols like this on the right hand side. And some of those companies will come into play during endgame scoring. Like this one, some will ask you to collect certain types of uh, company cards. Um, here's another example of that. On the right hand side, there is Black Forest. So again, there are certain cards that will pop up and ask you to collect that particular faction or that particular company type. Um, You've also got fixture cards, and fixture cards are permanent upgrades that you can add to your store. Uh, fixture cards never go away. You can use them, and then you flip them over, and then you automatically refresh them on the next round. Staff cards work the same way, however you have to pay to flip them on the next turn. Some um, are used, per like, are permanently gone once you use them, others you have to pay in order to use them again. On the bottom left-hand corner, you can see how much that would cost in order to first buy them, put them in your array, and then when you use them, you flip them over. The next round, when you go to hire them, or you have to make a decision. Do you want to hire them back, pay the money down here, or do you just banish them to the abyss? The abyss is like a permanent pile of cards that are gone for the rest of the game. So that if we ever say the word abyss, the abyss is the permanent trash pile. Um, you've got your adventurers down here. Uh, adventurers start face down every round, and then when we go to make a sale, we flip one over, and we start bidding for it. It'll be easier to explain that process once we actually start doing it, so I'm not going to do that right now. Um, but the number of cards that you draw for setup, it's going to be stock is equal to um, it's equal to the number of players plus two. So there's four here. It's always going to be two fixtures, always going to be two staff, no matter player count. Adventures, the number of players plus one. So there's three adventures out here. Okay, so uh, we each have our starting deck of cards. We start with five money each. There are some guild tokens here, which I 
think allow you to make further purchases cheaper for that particular guild. Uh, for example, if you hold a if you hold a blue token, it has a little star up here. I, I believe that gives you more bidding power toward uh, an adventurer of that same faction, sort of like a customer loyalty program kind of thing. Um, I'm going to have to look at the rules just to verify that because we've never played this. Um, she's nodding her head at me in agreement. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and give this a try. We start the game with five cards in our hand. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four. Okay, so now you get five cards for your hand too. And then we're going to flip over the first daily bulletin. And Who has the initiative token? Um, whoever bought groceries last. I, <laughs> I went yeah. yesterday. So today. <laughs> did I really go today? I did go today, didn't I? I'm old. What do you want? All right. So the first uh, round modifier is this. Each manager gains four money from the supply. So cash injection. So each player gets an additional four money. One, two, <laughs> the floor three. gets money. The too. floor gets money. Everyone gets money. You get a money, and you get a money, and you. Everyone gets a money. There's four additional coins there. Okay. And I'll pick that up later. <laughs> Don't forget. I'm not crawling over chairs. Okay. No, it's okay. Really. Okay. If you want to get it now, that's completely <laughs> fine. No, that's fine. Dying. No, interrupt the interrupt the video. It's fine. I won't have to cut it later. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Great. Thank you. All right, so starting with me, I get to take one of three actions. I can buy from here for one action. I can start a sale for one action, or I can play a card in my hand that has a keyword on the bottom. None of my cards have that keyword, so I can really only buy a card from here or start a sale down here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe buy a card. Um, let's see. Ancient mystery box. What is this? Uh, it has the sell keyword. Add a stock to your offer. Its type changes to match one of the adventurer's desire stock types until the end of checkout. Flip this card. So I didn't, we didn't go over this yet, but whenever you sell to an adventurer, the adventurer is going to ask for one of three types of goods or possibly a multitude. Um, the three types of goods are blue, red, and green. Green is like exotic, red is like martial, and blue is like magic. And um, so you can only play, for example, you can only put like blue cards toward an adventurer that wants blue items or green cards toward an adventurer that wants green items. Some will want blue and green or blue or green. So you can choose either color to put toward them. Um, on the very top of these cards, there's stars, there's money. The stars represent the bidding power to try and sway that adventurer to visit your shop and give you money. And we're going to be using, we're going to be playing these cards on these adventurers to outbid each other with these stars. And then once we figure out who the adventurer is going to go to, then they pay us. Either um, the combination, uh, the sum of the cards that we bid with. So if I bid with these three cards here, we would total this, this, and this, and that's what they would pay. Or however much money they brought in with them, uh, in, into their in their pockets. Whatever amount was lower, that's the amount of money that that person would earn. But we'll get there. So um, let's go ahead and I'll buy something. Um, this card allows me to um, no matter what card I play, I can change. I can make it a wild and change the color, which is nice. Or this shrine of kaiju uh, react when you win a sale. At the start of checkout, you may return a single stock you are selling to your hand instead of selling it. So I can basically reuse a card that I've bid with, which is nice. So I might actually buy this fixture for four. So um, a player can have at maximum four fixtures slash staff. So you can have three fixtures in one staff or two staff and two fixtures. If you buy a fifth card or improvement to add to your um, your array here, your, your store, you have to give one up to the abyss. So you can only have four upgrades at a time. And that's again, a combination of the green and yellow cards. So I'm gonna sp spend four money, one, two, three, four, and that was my turn. So I can now in the future use this, flip it over, and when I'm bidding, I can use that to, or this is a, re this is a react. So whenever I win a sale, I'll be able to use this to take a card back into my hand rather than put them in put them into my discard pile. There's no um, 
little cheat sheet, right? That shows like the phases and stuff. Um, what do you mean a cheat sheet? Well, a little like those turn order cards. There's no turn order cards per se. On the back of the rule book, there is a reference guide that goes over the rules of a typical round. Um, as far as the iconography, um, there were, I think I saw a couple of pictures in here for the various things. Uh, like here's the card effects section of the rule book. It tells you there's Q, use, ongoing, react, sell, review. Um, here's a look at the tokens, um, draconic executive discount tokens and so on. So there are some pictures in here, uh, the different brands, there's Avaldi, uh, Black Forest, Tamlin, and Amart, Adventure Mart, and then the stock types, there's the red, blue, and green. So there are pictures in the rule book, but the back of the rule book doesn't really list them all again. Uh, what were you looking at in particular? Just all the, uh, like the okay. tags. Well, I can, I, can, I can cut to the page of the tags, and then if you need, uh, which one are you looking at? That's fine. Just like this one, for instance. Uh, review. Reviews, that's end game. This effect grants bonus gold when scored at the end of the game. Okay. So by taking this, you can, you know, potentially get more money. By the way, the end of the game is uh, after five rounds, and players earn, uh, whoever has the most money, and players earn money by um, the stock. The purple cards they start with do not count. The cards they buy from here... And here, do count. Um, add the buy cost of each fixture. That counts as um, money for the end of the game. Every, um, let's see, okay, it says next buy. Yeah, the buy cost of these uh, that you have in your in your deck at the end of the game, they will count toward end game scoring. What are these numbers up here? That is how much money you make from the customer whenever you win a bid. Whenever you win the bid, the bid to, to sell to them, that's how much money you make. Again, it's either going to be the amount of money they brought with them or the summed amount of um, the, the sum of your cards that you bid with, whatever's lower. So if you bid with nine gold and they only brought eight with them, you're going to get eight coins. Yeah. So it has to be the lower value. Okay. Um, but yeah, at the end of the game, you also get money equal to the, the buy cost of these cards. So does this go in my hand or does it... It goes... In, whenever you buy a card, it goes into your hand. Your hand. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what did you end up buying there, this just so one. I know? Okay. So this is a Corium short sword. It has the effect ongoing and epic quality. Uh, whilst being sold, this stock has plus one stars for each other stock you are selling. So... Uh, that's what this little plus sign also means up here. So whenever she bids with this, um, she can potentially multiply the amount of bidding power she has by playing this card. So she can really win a bid with this if she plays it at the right time. Um, and the max hand you can have is what? what was I don't it? think there is a max hand limit. Really? I could be wrong. But you're, those all, all your, at the end of a round... You're only allowed to keep one card in your hand, but then you discard the rest. And then you draw back up to five for the next round. Okay. So um, there's really no hand limit during a round. But at the end of the round, you have to discard down to... Uh, you're allowed to keep one. You get rid of all your cards, but you can keep one. And then you have to draw back up to five again. Okay. Um, so now it's my turn. You, you bought that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to... And this keeps going until an adventure is flipped? Again, well, this the round is over whenever all of the adventurers have been won over by us. Okay. So when all three of these are done, mm -hmm. we each get one more turn, mm -hmm. and then the round is over. What if nobody wants to sell to the adventurer? Well, we're going to have to. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I mean, it is possible to sell to an adventurer with just the initiative token. Mm -hmm. You don't have to offer cards to the adventurer. If a player wins with just the initiative token, whoever initiates the sale gets the initiative token mm -hmm. to go along with that. But let's say I, I attract, or I try to win over an adventurer with just the initiative token. It has a bidding power of one and a sale of one. If I win with just this, I get one gold mm -hmm. and the adventurer goes to my ledger. Is what mm -hmm. they're called, and we're gonna we're gonna be gaining yeah. adventurers in our ledger throughout the game. How do you get the initiative token? Just by initiating the sale. 
So at, whenever you go to, you, whenever you say, I want to sell to somebody, oh. you now get this. And then you flip over one of these and do your thing. And then we out try not bid each other. And if you do the same thing, you get it? I get to take it back and correct. So this is going to flip back and forth okay. on a regular basis. Okay. okay. Again, this is my first time playing. So I'm pretty sure I'm right, but just in case. Mm -hmm. Disclaimer. Okay. All right. So is it my turn? Um, yes, it okay. is. Okay. Great. Um, I will buy, uh, what is this, the, uh, whilst being sold, the stock has a plus one stars for each other stock you were selling. It's green. Um, this has like an end game bonus. Add two for each Ovaldi Forge stock in your store. Um, I don't have a whole lot of those cards, so I don't know if I really want to... <sighs> You know, I might buy the, I might go with this epic quality card here, and that's four. So that's one, two, three, four. All right. Mm -hmm. And I add that to my hand. So it's basically the same card she bought, except it's a different type. All right. And these do not refresh during a round. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's an upgrade. It's a wild-like kind of thing where um, whenever you go to sell... You don't have to match the icon. Remember, if, if a customer wants red, you play red cards. That allows you to ignore that rule once, flip over the card, and then play anything you want. Okay. Assuming you have it in your thing. Mm -hmm. All right. And this, I don't know about the staff members. I haven't seen what they do yet. Discard a stock that a manager is currently selling. Is that like kind of a messed up take that mechanic? That is a take that mechanic. <laughs> sell. Okay, so this says sell. So during the selling phase, when we're fighting for an adventurer, discard a stock that a manager is currently selling. Flip this card. So basically, if I put something down really powerful like, you can, and you have him in your array, mm -hmm. you can flip him over and then discard the card that I played yeah. to, to, to negate my bidding. That's a good one. <laughs> it's nasty. <laughs> it's three to buy him and then three to rehire yeah. him for the next round, should you want to. The staff cards, I think, are more powerful because you have to keep Pur purchasing them every round or rehiring them. them yeah. Right. These are permanent. You can just keep refreshing them for free. So the fixtures are like one-time buy permanent upgrades they never go away these guys you have to keep buying them over and over again every round un unless you don't use them mm -hmm. but you still have to pay them don't you? no uh, only when they're flipped over do you have to rehire them you can have a staff card here for three full turns flipped up and not do anything mm -hmm. the minute that you use them however that's when at the end of the round you have to decide do i want to keep them for another round or do i or do i get rid of them interesting okay <laughs> Oh man, this is hard. Okay. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> You're so indecisive. <laughs> or just start a start a sale. <laughs> I'm just, I'm giving you options. I feel like that's what you want me to do. This is such a bluffy game. You know what? I'll pay this one. All right. So that's three money. Yeah. All right, so that goes in your store. Yeah. My turn. I really only I only have one coin. I kind of mm -hmm. have to to I can't buy anything at this point. So I'll just pick an adventurer and start a sale. So um, I'm not sure how we're gonna do this or where to put these. I guess we'll put them there for right now. So this is um, Master Parma, and he wants red and blue, and he has a pocket change of ten. So up to ten, someone will earn that possibly. Um, review, add two money to your net worth for each other fighter's guild adventure in your ledger. So at the end of the game, this guy's going to be giving me more money, assuming I can win him over. He's a fighter, um, so I'm guessing I would get the fighter's guild. Whoever wins him gets the fighter guild token. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and I'll start my bid. I, I get the initiative already, so I already have one bidding power. So keeping in mind, now reds are worth double. So if I put a red card down, I'm going to get double that bid. So I might go like this. Um, I'm going to put down this axe, this hatchet. Now, because there's two red symbols on here, and this is a red card, this is worth four instead of two. Had there only been one red symbol on here, that hatchet would have been worth two bidding power. 
okay? Like there's a red symbol, red symbol, two bidding power. But because there's two red symbols on here, this is doubled. So this is worth four bidding power as opposed to two. So I currently have a bidding power of five. I've got the one from the initiative token and four from this particular card. And now the ball is in her court. What is it for again? I'm sorry. Because double red. Any red cards that are played okay, on so this if person? You put, if you put like a, a one star red, that would count as two. Two, correct. I see, I see. You multiply that by two. I see. Because of the two reds here. Okay. Um... So now you have to beat a five if you want to try and win him over. Okay, can I do this? That's four. This. Five. And this. Okay, so well, so four, five, six, seven, eight. So you've got oh, well, eight. So oh. can I do it like this then? So that would be six. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So now I have to decide, do I want to try and beat you or not? Um, how much do I really care about this customer? Um, blues. All right, so you've got um, you've got four, five, six. So how about uh, I've got five. This would give me I've got five. You've got six. So I just need seven. So I'll play this blue one. This gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which beats your. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it is now seven to six. So the question is, do you want to try and beat seven me? Seven to six? Correct. Eight. Eight. Okay, so you got eight there. Okay, um, the question is, do I want to do anything else? Um, I'm going to go with... Uh... No. No. I'm not. So you win this. You win this bid. Okay. I get to keep the cards that I bid. You do not. These go into your discard pile. Yeah, it's all like over here. Yeah, somewhere. that's fine. Okay. And um, I guess I'll keep that there for now until someone else. I don't know if you win this. I know. I think it's only the person that initiated the sale. Okay. Um, so you would win. What did you? What did you have to offer? It was one, two, three, four, five is the coin cost of the cards that you played. Okay. So he brought 10 with him, but you only offered five gold. Mm -hmm. So as so you take the lower value, so you earn mm -hmm. five money okay. for that sale. This guy goes into your ledger for end game scoring. Okay, I see. And because I initiated that sale, it is now your turn. Okay. I will... Um... Hmm. I'm going to spend four for that. Okay, it's the Corium Codex. Mm -hmm. All right, review. Add two money to your net worth for each Evaldi Forge stock in your store. And that goes in my hand? In your hand. Mm -hmm. Well, again, I have no choice but to... Um, yeah, I have no choice but to flip an adventure. So again, I retain this token. I'm going to use it. Um, it says it uses green and red. This is uh, uh, Titania Forest Princess. React after checkout. Uh, each manager may flip face up one staff or fixture card in their store. Well, no one has that right now. But he's got two green. She's got two green symbols and one red. So I'll start the bidding at. Uh, let's see. What do I got here? I'll go with, um, hmm. not a whole lot. Hmm. All right, she likes that and that. Okay, let's go with, um, okay, let's go with these cards. Um, so I've got one buying power already. Plus, there's double green, so this is going to be three, four, or I'm sorry, one, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, nice. and then red, two stars, six, seven. So there's seven bid here. So you have to get eight or higher. Do I get uh, one of these tokens or not? Uh, uh, I believe so. Um, does it say? I'm pretty sure. I don't remember, honestly. I'll have to look that up. 
Let me go ahead and do that while you can. That's not going to affect this person because this is green. Yeah. But while you're thinking about your bid, I'll go ahead and just look that up real quick. <clears throat> It just says, following a sale, some adventurers will grant you a special token that gives you a bonus. Okay. Um, I wonder if it would actually say to give, like, I, I don't, I wonder if there's, I don't think you get this automatically after every sale. Okay. I think there's a, there's particular customers in here that would tell you when you would get them. Okay. Like okay. gain a guild token. Okay. So we'll keep an eye out for those. Okay. That's fine. You know what? Yeah. I think you're right. I think you're right. Okay. I remember reading the rules to this a while back, but okay. Uh -huh. So, so this is going to be one, uh, and this is double. So two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, this is not double. Uh, this is one. The one stars are double. Yeah. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got seven power here. Okay. I'm going to use this card and do that and change this to a green. Okay, so you can now flip, does that say to flip that over? Yeah, flip this over. Okay, so this blue now becomes a green mm -hmm. per your fixture. Mm -hmm. um, so now you've got four. Oh, so that's eight. Mm -hmm. So with one card, you now have eight power. Um, let's go with... Um, hmm. That's pretty nuts. That is powerful. Okay. Um, it only says one card, right? The problem here, I need to win something. After checkout, each manager may flip face up one staff or fixture card in their store. Um, this is when you win a sale, so that's not going to help me out at all. Um, <laughs> but the way this is going, holy cow. I mean, I guess I'll, I have to try and do this. So I'm going to play this green one. It's double. So it's eight stars plus an additional uh, plus one star for each other stock you are selling. So to do the math on this, this card is four, double is at eight, and then nine, 10, 11, then 12, and 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So this is 18 bidding power with this one card. 18. Yes. Should I do the math again? Wow. No. Okay. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. It looks like more than 18. Well, here's the thing. Again, double green, double mm -hmm. green. So this is 8. Four stars, and then there's a little plus. Just well, eight. so it's going to be 8, 9, 10, 11, just for this card. So 11 for this card. Then um, 13, then 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I count 18 with that. You said 11 just for this card? Yes. Mm -hmm. This would be a 5, right? Because it's 4, four. stars plus the 1. No, so plus five. 1 for each other stock you are selling. I've got 3 other stock that I'm selling. Oh, okay, okay. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, I see what you mean. So it's 18 to your 8. Now, wouldn't that count for double? I don't know. I don't know like if this plus stars? 1. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I would imagine so. Well, if it comes down, if you're going to be that, it depends on what you're doing. If you're going to, like, challenge me on this, then, yeah, we'll try and figure it out. <laughs> huh. The minimum is 18. We'll just go with that. Do you, <laughs> are you going to try and beat 18? That's rough. <laughs> And how much was this one? Eight. Eight. You need to come up with 11 more. <laughs> I could probably do it. But that's a powerful card. Which one was that one again? What? Your, your fixture. 
Um, when you che when you win a sale at the start of checkout, you may return a single stock you are selling to your hand instead of selling it. Return a single stock. Damn, that's powerful. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I'll let you have it. Okay. So these go into my discard. I am going to flip this so that I can keep this particular card. Um, but the rest go into my discard pile. Now I had a total of five. I'll be looking. Five plus three, eight, nine, ten. So I had ten, eleven. Mm -hmm. I, I had eleven gold to offer, and they only brought eight. So I get a the lower value, which is eight. Mm -hmm. So five, six, seven, eight. And you keep. And that I keep. Token. And I keep that in my ledger, and I'll just stay here for now. Mm -hmm. And then after checkout, each manager may flip face up one staff or fixture card. Each manager? Each manager. So you too. So we flip these back over. Um, okay. And I initiated that, so I think it's your turn now. Alright. I will initiate a staff. You're gonna okay, so you get the this you get the initiative. This one is two blue and one green. Luna Sorceress Supreme. A uh, Q. When revealed, each manager draws two stock cards. So you get to draw two, and I get to draw two from our. Right now. Yeah, right now. So draw two cards from your deck. Yeah. Just make sure it's not your discard file. Nope. Yeah. My discard okay. Um. So now you've got initiative. So you start the bid. Okay. Whatever you want to. It's two blue and one green. Okay. Now he's blue, right? So no, that's not how that works. Don't, con <laughs> don't confuse I'm the kidding, viewers. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's wow. a joke, it's a joke. Sure. All right. I will start off with, um, let's see. Yeah. I have to check out each manager. Discard is too stock. Ooh. Both of us. Yeah, so if it, when she's revealed, draw two. Um, after checkout, Lose two. Oh man, that's a that's a nasty one. How do we like just throw them out of our shop? <laughs> All right. Just don't offer them anything. I don't know. Mm, that's what I said. Yeah. So you're gonna do. It's four. Uh yeah. So there's double blue. So one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. So you got five there. Um, I'm just gonna go all in just because there's no reason not to so let's see um let's go with these and so this is double so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve plus one for each i'm selling so this is 15. this is this is totaling 15 here so you need 16 or higher here to beat me. Okay. You still have one card left, huh? <laughs> I do. Okay. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, plus oh, that's, that, there's no modifier one. here. Plus seventeen. So, how much did I say I had? <laughs> uh, one, I need like counters or something. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty-four, fifteen. And that's, you have more than that, right? You have more than fifteen. Actually, can I take this one back? I guess. Damn it. I have no, no, it's too late. It's too late. I'm not going to be rude. Go ahead. No, I have fifteen. So, and you have more than that, yes? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not, I can't do anything. No? Okay. So this goes back into my hand. You keep her. Um, now your max is five, three. It's eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. She only brought eight with her, so you get eight coins. That's fine. One, two, three. And you, these go away. Those go in your discard pile. Yep. And you get to keep her in your ledger. And that says at the end of the checkout, 
We have to discard, discard two. two. So I'm going to discard two cards from my hand. So these go there. Yeah. Okay. Now we each get one final turn now that the adventurers are all gone. How did you get more cards? What do you mean more cards? Like, didn't you have one left? Again, whenever you don't make a sale, oh, you they go back, back to... Oh, nasty! Not that okay. it matters. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to, I think, just... Did we draw back up to five? No, not right now. Oh, sorry, sorry. Again, end of round, we each get one final turn. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. All right, I'm sorry. Relax. I'm so, I'm so excited. Deep breath. Deep breath. <laughs> this one flipped the table already. <laughs> wow. It didn't take long. Okay. <laughs> Um, Your cards are so wet. <laughs> oh, poor dog. I'm going to have to, yeah, thank you, dog. You took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely took the words out of my mouth. I'm going to buy this card, Grumpy Grimoire, mm -hmm. and add it to my hand. It's four. So one, two, three, four. And you get one final turn. I'm going to buy that three. The janitor here? Worker of Nights. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, three money. Did you already pay your three? Yes, I did. Okay. All right. So, that ends the round. Now, before we clean up or anything like that, um, let me make sure this is the right order. Uh, it says, uh, discard and drop to five. So, keep one card in your hand if you want, and then draw up to... So, I'm actually going to discard everything but this one. And... The rest, what are you doing? I have to shuffle my discards. I only have two cards. Oh, okay. I guess the same thing. Well, yeah, okay. So one, two, three. Okay, then I have to do the same thing. All right. And then four, five. Okay. And two is upkeep. Um, so do you want to flip? Well, there's nothing to flip over here. Mm -hmm. Um, help from headquarters. So whoever has the quietest store, we're going to look at the sum of the money here. Ten and eight and eight. I have the quietest store, so I get help from the array. Does that also count uh, with stock cards? No. Oh, only whoever has the quietest store, meaning the, f the least amount of money in the ledger. I see. Okay. So I have eight, you've got 18. Mm -hmm. I have the quietest. So what happens now is... One card is drawn from each deck, mm -hmm. and I get to pick one for free. Yes, you do. So, enchantment table is what? Ongoing. Pay one money less when buying magic stock from the stock queue. Yes, I will take that for free. <laughs> All right. So, now, these go away. Clean up. These go into the abyss permanently. And now we set up for the new round, I think. Um, yeah. So now, again, we draw a number of these equal to the number of players plus two. Then always two for green, always two for yellow. And two or three adventurers, number of players plus one mm -hmm. for the new round. So now we're on round two. A new daily bulletin comes out. Um, this day, each adventurer desires magic stock, blue, in addition to stock types on their card. So if an adventurer says red on here, they will also want blue, according to that. So oh, okay. it yeah. just gives them extra yeah. buying, okay. buying types. Cool. And I think it is uh, your turn. Trading. You've got the initiative token. So you can, again... Buy stuff, initiate a sale, use a card for its special effect, assuming that, you know, it has that keyword on the bottom, use. Mm-hmm, 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 Okay. All right. Uh, hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What does that mean? I don't understand that. Um, Corium Chainmail. 
Q and trade in. You may banish a stock card from your hand instead of paying the buy cost of this card. So whenever you acquire this, you can permanently destroy a card rather than pay, instead of paying three money to buy it, you can permanently trash something. So you have to pay something to trash something? No, it's giving you an option. Typically, you spend money to buy something, right? This is, this is three. You would spend three money to buy this. This is saying, instead of doing that, trash a card permanently and you can keep that for free. That's what this trade-in means. Oh. So if there's a card in your hand you hate and don't want in your deck at all, banish it, get rid of it, yeah. and then you can have that for free. I can have that thing for free. Yes. Cool. You know what? I'll do that. All right. So banish a card permanently off to the side, and you get to keep this. All right. My turn, I am going to um, spend two money to buy this town uh, cartograph, <laughs> sure. Um, pay one less when buying green exotic stock from the stock queue. Minimum of one. So that's two gold, I get three and change. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. That's a one-time use card. Uh, this one, banish a stock being sold by any manager. That manager gains gold from the supply equal to the stock's current sell price, then banish this card. Yeah. So, so you can force me to banish something when I play it, mm -hmm. but I get this. I get money for it. Yeah. It's still nasty, though. Yeah. That is actually pretty gross. It's like an upgraded version of your janitor. So you're going to pay two money to hire that person. Yeah. Is that the one that you can make me sell something? Is that that? Okay. I'm going to spend two money to buy this auto forge. Pay one less when buying red items. So I'm basically making everything cheaper. Mm -hmm. So there's another two gold there. All right. And it is your turn. I'm going to spend three for this one. Okay. Which one's that? Just a regular green card. Oh, okay. Forge steamed buns. Okay. So three buying power for green. Okay. Right. Um, I will spend... Import after checkout or the other top. Can you afford it? Yeah, one. I have a card. Oh. Pay one less when buying green stock. This is green. Oh, I thought I thought it was the, the store stock. No, it's the green when exotic stock. Green. Wow, that's so a good one. So I pay one and I get this for free. Naga noodles. Is it one less or just the one coin? One less. This is worth, this. the buying power is two, or it's two to, be, to buy it. So two minus one is one. So I paid one. Um, okay, all right. The This top one is like confusing the heck. The top it. one is what the customer pays. Now the I, bottom left is what you pay to acquire it. I see, I see now, I see, I see. By the way, the on call means that whenever you acquire this staff member, you, you can use that card immediately. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wait a turn. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's what the on call means. Where's... Oh, wow. You can only use it, it when it's in here, though, right? Correct. Okay. But when you acquire... Let's say you pay for it, you can use it immediately. You don't yeah. have to wait a turn. I see. All right, I'm going to initiate. All right, so... Boulder Guild Champion, uh, two reds and one blue, has eight money to bring with him. Uh, so here's that. And it says, after checkout, give all other managers two from the supply. Um, so whoever doesn't win this gets two gold. Nice. Um, basically. So what would you like to offer that besides your one quality? Mm -hmm. I will offer this one here. Three. Three. 
Okay, so you've got um, blue. That's one blue, so it's one, two, three. All right, I will go with... Um, let's go with... Uh, let's do this. Five, six, seven, eight. Wow. <laughs> so you've got three, I've got eight. So that's uh, so that's double six. So six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Um, do I want to go any one higher than that? No, um, I will not. So these come back to me. Mm -hmm. You win this. Um, now the combination is one, four, so that's eight. So eight and eight. So you get eight coins either way. So it's that and that. So you get eight and that. You get to keep him. Mm -hmm. And it says react. After checkout, give all other managers two from the supply. So I get two coins from the supply. Yep. So you keep him. And you initiated that sale. So now it's my turn. Yep. I am going to buy this card it's three but i have a card here that says pay one less when buying blue oh, items. i should have thought about that so i pay two and i pick this up for myself and it is your turn hey you're gonna get the addition. pay three to get the staff you're gonna get the staff <laughs> member okay um, I, there's nothing else to do, so I'm going to initiate a sale. Um, I get initiative there. Um, it's just a basic scout, uh, just one green there. Brings five money with them. I am going to offer... No, I don't know. Um, how about the... Okay. I guess we'll do this. That gives me five buying power. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. I'll do. do um okay okay use this and change that red to a green Okay, so you're going to change red to a green. This gives you one, two, three, <coughs> four, five, six. Uh, six. Mm -hmm. one, plus one for each that you're selling. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I will use this one as well. Kind of overkill. Um, it's a green one. Uh, while being sold, the stock has plus one for each other stock you were selling. So. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. So do you care to be eleven? I'm gonna pay two coins and banish that card. Okay. So when you banish it, I get four money back from the supply. Yep. So it's one, two, three, four. That's nasty. And your staff card is also gone. Yep. Okay. And I paid his his Price. All right. Well, in that case, um, I'm done. Uh, you win. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you get to you get five. You have eight here, but mm -hmm. he only brought five with yeah. him. So you get five coins. Okay. And you get to keep him. Okay. There's no abilities, and this goes to your discard pile. Okay. You, whoever initiated it, gets yes, okay. And then these come back to me. All right. So it is your turn. Okay. Initiate. Initiate. You get initiative. Um, just a simple. Just a simple blue. Okay. So what are you gonna do? Okay. 
I'll bid one. You're gonna bid one. Well, considering um, I, what do you got over there? <laughs> Is this public information? Yes, it's face up. Of course, right, it's public. All right. Draw two cards, and this one is discard a stock card that the manager is currently using. Wow, that's nice. Okay, um, and that's blue, yes? Okay, great, that's wonderful. Um, let's go with... Uh, oh, you know what? We forgot to apply this to every other adventure. Oh, well, that was my bad. I guess, yeah, well, a little late now. Sorry. It's fine, it doesn't matter. That would have, I, I, that would have changed things a, a little bit. But Do you want to return it? No, 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 it's fine. It's only five. So, um, um, let's go with this one. It's three stars. So mm -hmm. you've got one, I've got three. All right, so you've got five, I've got three. Here's, um, Let's go with, um, I guess, those. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, just eight. Eight to your five. Okay, so you're happy with that. I'm going to flip this face down and add one to my hand, not that it really matters. Um, which one would I use for next round? Um, it says here, after checkout, um, reveal, I played this, I reveal the top card of the stock deck. You may buy it or banish it. So I'm gonna actually use this, these were here. Um, I'm gonna use that to reveal the top card. Now I can either buy it or banish it. Um, it costs three, and I've got a card that reduces the amount of red by one. So I will buy that for two. Wow. Add that to my hand. Not that it's helpful right now, but I bought it. Um, this, do, or, those fixtures, do those fixtures get turned over every time you use them? No. Mm -mm. It really? just says pay one less. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about flipping them. Wow, that is powerful, dude. Yeah. So, um, basically, all these come back. I get to keep one card. for This is the end of the round. I mean, there's no going back from this. Um, this goes there. That goes there. This goes here. Um, I get five gold from him. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess now we discard. This, the end of the round, there's nothing to do. Um, now, you reacts, can. Huh? Do, these, do these reacts apply? What do they say? Uh, after checkout, each manager discards. That's only for whenever you resolve that. Oh, okay. So these are like none of these are. They don't. No, you don't worry about the. It's not ongoing unless it says ongoing. You don't. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, uh, okay. Ongoing effects are permanent through the entire game. Those reacts are whenever they uh, take effect. Okay. So, uh, like whenever you play them or whenever they're acquired, I that see, kind of thing. I see, I see. So um, you can buy stock blind for four gold each mm -hmm. i'm not going to do that on my turn do you do you want to spend your last since these are all out we'll get one more turn mm -hmm. um do you want to buy a stock card for four gold how many can you buy well it's one it's again one action per turn so you would only be able to buy one for four gold yeah i'll live dangerously i don't mind <laughs> Alright, so you get whatever this is. Now again, end of end of the round, we now discard our everything, and but we get to keep one. I overpaid. <laughs> uh, did you? Yeah, right. that's okay, it don't matter. Alright, so I'm gonna keep this and then these this is discarded. Okay. So okay, what did you say? We have to discard Again, discard down to one. Oh or, we have or, to. Yeah. At the end of the round we discard down to one. And the card I kept is this. This is the one I flipped over to keep. So that's why I still have it. Okay. Fixed at the end of the round, um, you drop to five cards. I'll go ahead and do that now. One. Yeah. When does the use uh, phase happen? What do you mean? Use is on your turn. 
You can use a card that says use on it to do an action. On my turn? Yes. So when we go back and forth, you can buy a card, you can initiate a sale, or you can use a card that says use on it as an action. Okay. All right. So end of the round, uh, drop the five. Now upkeep. Um, let's see. Uh, as the loser... Uh, you've got more than I do, clearly. Um, I draw two. One, two, and I get to keep one. Um, the problem is, I've got... Um, well, this gets flipped over. Um, I get to... Once per turn, you may look at the top of the stock deck, fixture or staff deck. So, I can use that. I can replace this with this to... Uh, to, to know what's coming up, but the downside is I don't get to keep any of that. Mm -hmm. This is react the activation of any... Uh, no, I don't like any of this. Um, no, I'm, I'm not going to take any for free. I, I kind of like what I've got. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just ignore these. These go into the banish area. Oh, I can take three coins instead of choosing a card. Oh, nice. So I'm going to take three coins instead. One, two, three. Um, next is, um, now we, let's see, do you gonna pay, okay, you didn't have any staff to rehire? No. Okay, um, uh, clean up. Okay, so now we do the next round. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Lots of transmutation slimes there. Oh, goodness. Uh, two fixtures, two staff. Red Mountain Bard with bagpipes, apparently. One, two, three. And I think a new daily bulletin. Uh, each manager draws a stock card from their stock room, or from their storeroom. So you get an additional card for your hand. Cool. Did you draw from, is that your discard or yours? No, that's my, oh, okay. gotcha. this one's my discard. Gotcha, okay. Um, well then, it is, uh, I have the initiative, so I guess I'll go first. Mm -hmm. I am going to, what do I got? All right, let's go with, hmm. Hmm. I wonder how the expansions would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll I'll spend two. three money. Yeah, two money. Mm -hmm. To buy a blue card and add it to my or this this green exotic card to my hand. This transmutation slime. Alright. I'm going to spend three. Okay. To do what? And get this fixture here. All right. I will... Um, I'm going to spend two mm -hmm. to purchase one of these blue ones. Uh, after you check out reveal the top card of the stock deck, you may buy it or binge. I will take that one. I'm going to initiate a sale. Did I pay for it? I thought I did. Two? Yeah, I don't even remember if I just paid for it. Uh, I don't remember. I don't know. Uh, let me take some change. One, two... Do you want to rewind the tape? Nah, that's alright. I'll just pretend like I didn't. Okay. I'll do a sale. Alright, sale. You get initiative. It's double blue and a green. Review. Add two money to your net worth for each other Mage's Guild adventurer in your ledger. So, um, yeah. Whoever has that will get a nice reward at the end of the game. Uh, has 10 money with him. So. Mages Guild Adventure. Oh, jeez. Okay. 
Alright, I'm going to... Hmm. Hmm. So you start the bid? Yep. I'm going to use this first. What is that? Banish a stock from your hand or reorder pile. Gain two or draw. Actually, we can't do it. No, I don't want to do it. I forget it. Alright. I'm going to do this. Two, four, five. Five. Okay. Let's go with... We need like a... Um, one of those... And it clickers. Uh, well, an auction announcer. <laughs> <laughs> right, no. One blue, two blue, three blue, four or five. Anyone else? Oh, I can't do it. All right, good, nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I've got this, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh my gosh, you really want that one? <laughs> Now I will do this one. Banish a stock from your hand or we order a pile. Draw. Does this count as one action? Using a fixture? Uh, it says use. So you would have to use that on your turn Which is as an action. Um, banish your... Yeah, you can't use it now. We're in the oh, middle of bidding. Oh, fudge. Okay. Yeah. Use is during your turn. Remember, three actions on your turn. Buy, sell, or use. We're at, right now we're in the middle of selling. Really? Yes. Oh, I made a mistake then. Unless it says sell on it. Like this card says sell. Yeah. So you can only use it during that time. Yeah. All right. Then yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to just I'm going to pay 3 and discard that. But you don't pay him. Oh, is it on here to yeah. pay? He's an employee. Don't I have to pay him? No. You pay him when you acquire him, and then you pay him to refresh him. You don't pay to use oh. him. Whoops. So if you want to use him, you just flip him over. Then you have to decide later if you want to pay him to flip him back. All right, fine. Okay, then yes. Uh, I'm going to use him to get rid of that. Okay, so this discards him. Now, uh, does that say back to my hand or discard? Uh, back discard, to okay. So now I have to do something else. All right, how about this one then? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my Sesame Street has uh, memories have come flooding back to me. Damn. <laughs> So I cannot use this card, right? Because it's a use action and I had to use that beforehand? Correct. Damn. All right. It has to, you have to use a card that says sell on it. I see. Okay. Because this is the sell phase. Okay. You can take it. All right. So, um... With that in mind, uh, let's see, first of all, nothing special. I had uh, eight worth money here, so there's eight. And this goes here. I will use uh, this card, this fixture, to keep this Erudite Eyewear. Now, also, after checkout, reveal the top card of the stock deck. You may buy it or banish it. So these go in my discard pile, but this is a react after you win something. Um, so I'm going to reveal the top card of the stock. Oh, it's after you win it, or is it after After, after checkout. checkout. It just says after checkout. Nasty. Um, I'm going to flip this over and possibly buy it. Um, I will buy it. <laughs> it's four, it's but... It's another after checkout. Good reduce Lord. it to three. So three money. Oh, you have one that reduces three? Uh, Are there, you have all of them? Yes, I do. Oh my god, that's so good. So I use this fixture to keep this card. That goes to my hand. I bought this one. This goes to my hand. I thought I was doing good. <laughs> you are doing good. You've got all those adventures. I don't. I don't oh my god. All right, you initiated a sale, yes? Yeah. Oh, you keep that. <laughs> um, all right, I am going to... Man, I wasted that one. I will... Hmm. Mm. 
I'm going to buy Mana Bean Coffee for two. It costs three, but I have a card that reduces it by one. So I will buy that. Okay. Alright. It is your turn. I will um, use this. It says you may take two additional actions this turn. Okay. And I will discard it. And I will buy this for three. Okay. That's three and one, two, change yep. back. Yep. And I will also use it. And it says banish another stock from your hand, draw three cards from your storeroom, and then discard it. So you have to banish that. So Well, no, I have to banish another stock card oh. from my hand. Okay, so you have to banish it permanently. So I will banish this one. Okay. And draw three cards from your storeroom. So I have to shuffle these. Yep, so this is one. Yep, one. And then you have to draw two, two from, more from yep. here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I have to, what did it say? Discard it. So this ends up being discarded. Yep, so this will so. be discarded. Yep. Let me shuffle these. All right then. Wait a second. Mm-hmm. Got a lot going on there. Yeah. I think these were. Wait. Okay, these are the ones in my hand. So I have to shuffle these. My God. Okay. Yep. These feel less sweatier. That's nice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. You're kidding that they're not less sweatier. I plead the fifth. <laughs> yeah. You're going to wear gloves the next time we play, okay? Okay. So you should have, have one card, now you need to draw two more. One and two. Okay. Now it is your turn. All right. I'm going to initiate a sale. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Shoplifter. It's a thief. Uh, when revealed, the manager with the busiest... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Does this count as an action? The use? Yes. They do? Yes, that counts as your action. So you use that okay. as your, your second it, action. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. Sorry. <laughs> when revealed, the manager with the busiest store reveals their hand and discards their highest quality stock. Um, if you cannot, lose two. So you have the busiest store. You've got the most... You've got four people over there. <gasps> so you have to reveal your hand and discard your highest quality stock. Can I refuse and just lose two? <laughs> It says if you cannot, not if no. you refuse. So, reveal your hand and show me your highest quality item. That hurts. It's a thief. They're all bad. So, this one then. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts. So, okay. you have to discard it. Yep. Wow, dude. Alright then. What a nasty adventurer. Wait, but you... I don't. It says the person... Oh, yeah, yeah. The busiest store is you. Yeah, usually the thief applies to... Well, to the person who initiated, but, but it says the busiest store. Wow. Mm -hmm. Nasty. Uh, red and green. Here's a quick look at that. <laughs> Nasty. I guess buying adventures kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, oh. All right. Let's go with... Um... Let's go with these. Red and green. Red and green. Red and green. One, two, three, four. Bidding power. I don't want him. Go ahead. All He's right. a jerk to me. <laughs> so it's just four money mm -hmm. that I get. I have one, two, three, four. He brought four with him, so it's four money. This thief is. He doesn't care. He doesn't have any money. He mm -hmm. stole it. <laughs> so I'm going to put the thief over here. Um, and these go in my discard pile. And it is your turn. I will initiate. All right. Draconic Executive. Uh, let's see what this says. Uh, each manager can sell a maximum of three stock to this adventurer. Oh After checkout, gain a discount token. Pay one less when buying from the top of any deck. So you can only have three items to this guy. There's red, blue, and green, and he brought seven with him. So you get initiative, and you get first crack at him. So three cards only. 
Oh, total. man. Oh, no. Can I use this guy again? No. Or... He ref you pay him at the end of the round to refresh oh. him, but you only get to use him once. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting that this is a use action, too. I keep thinking that it's the same one as this one. You can no. Selling. I don't Uses, know again, three actions. Man. Buy, sell, which you just did, yeah. or use. Damn, that sucks. Okay. Bid two. You're bidding two. All right. I will go with um. Hmm. I'll go with seven. Purple cards. Yeah, <laughs> the highest I could do is six, but All yeah, right. it's kind of. All right, let's <laughs> do this one at a time. Um, after checkout, gain a coin discount token for. Okay, so I get a discount token. Mm -hmm. So if I were ever to buy from the top, it's discounted by one. Jeez, added to your things that could be free. Yeah. Um, so I get the executive at seven. I have nine here at seven, so I only get seven. Mm -hmm. And I also get to react to these. After checkout, after checkout, reveal the top card of your stop. Reveal it. You may buy it or banish it. You may buy it. Max one import. Oh, I only do this once. Oh, okay. So I will buy, let's see, three money to buy the Dagger of Mammon. Uh, it's a green card. I will, uh, yeah, why not? It's a green. I'll just pay, pay two. You want to use your discount? That's all. I did use the discount. Three yeah, minus. Like your token. That is only when you buy blind from the top of the stock deck. Remember, you can buy cards from the yeah. top of the. Wasn't that blind though? No, I, oh. I just revealed it. Oh. This says to reveal, oh. and now it's revealed. I can oh, use these. Okay, okay. So that's two. So this gets to my hand, nice. and these go to my discard. <laughs> I think you won. This. this guy goes there, and you initiated that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's it. Now you get one more turn. I get one more turn. All right. Um, I think it's your turn, right? Uh, yeah. Um, do I want to do anything? Yeah, I'll live dangerously. I'll spend some money to, I'll mm -hmm. use my discount to buy the top card of the stock. So that's four minus one is three. So three money. And let's see what I get. Totally worth it. That is awesome. <laughs> Oh, look at that beauty. That was, I saved some money on that. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. The RNG ness is hitting no. me so hard. Mm. <laughs> and and now it's my turn. You get to one final turn. I'm going to banish one of these crap cards. Via that? Yeah. Okay. And I will gain two monies. Okay. <laughs> All right, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So um, now we have to discard down. I'm keeping this one. Uh, okay, so. Can we get rid of all of them? Or is you can get rid of all if you want, yeah. But I'm gonna keep this one. Okay. Um, and I draw up to, okay, there's one. And I have to shuffle. So the keeping is just an optional An optional, thing? yeah. You I can see. keep one if you want, but you don't have to. I see. Alright, so that's two, three, four, <coughs> five. So we drew up to five. Um, upkeep. Do you want to pay to bring that staff member back? How much? It money is three money. Yes. Alright, so you hired him back. Um, I get to refresh my fixture. Um, next is help from headquarters. You have, well actually let's add these up. 10, 5, it's 15, 22, 22 plus 4 is 26, 26 plus 8 is 34. Uh, what's your total? 31. Okay, so you get the help. So now we draw one 
from oh, each. It can even go past. I two. think. Yeah, and now you get to pick one for free, or take three coins. I will get this one. Okay. Hold on, wait. <laughs> I don't get that one. This is during the self um, phase when we're yeah. selling. Each manager flips face down all stock they are currently selling. After checkout, return these stocks to each manager's hand. Flip this card. Hmm. Not sure exactly what that does. Mm -hmm. Aside from what it says, That's I don't. I don't I'll know just... what the strategy there is. Uh, I will replace. Oh man. <laughs> I guess I'll replace this one. I should have replaced that one. Damn it. Damn it. Can I take my three back and replace this guy? If you want to, go ahead. Although you wouldn't have known that was going to come up. I know. Yeah, that's cheating. No, I can't do it. <laughs> <All right>. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, okay. So now we're on round four. Mm-hmm. Wow, we're only on round three. Wow, that's crazy. All right. So now um, quite a story. You got to pick something. Mm -hmm. And now we clean up. So these go banish. This is banished. Uh, this. One, two. This is banished. Three, four. These are all banished. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. All right, you have initiative, so you get to go first. Oh. Round four. At the end of this day, all managers gain one money for each stock card that they discard. So if your hand is big at the end of the round, you can... Every card that you discard, you get one coin. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right. You get to go first. Okay. I will... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, man. This sucks. All right. Hmm. <laughs> what to do? Hmm. Damn, that means that I would have initiate. All right, you're going to sell right out of the gates. Okay, thief. Oh, my God. Well, and maybe when revealed, the manager with the busiest store flips face down their highest cost fixture if you cannot lose two. Well, I have the busiest store. Okay. So that means I have to, the, what is it? The highest costed fixture, which is in the far left. This one. Which one is that one? Uh, the one where I can keep a card after I win a successful bid. Okay. All right, so you get to start the bid. Blue and green. And brings four money to the table. Okay. All right. Um, let's go with. Um, that's what three stars. Four. I have let's... a fixture that gives me plus one. Oh, for what? Just when selling. Oh, any? Wow. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's four. So mm -hmm. one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. All right. So I need five in order to beat you. Uh -huh. Is it worth it? <laughs> oh my god, I'm kidding me. Alright, so there's five stars. After checkout, reveal a tall card in stock. <laughs> <laughs> Is that after only when you bid or after any checkout? Uh, it says after checkout. Um, I don't know if that's only if you win. I think checkout is... 
the player who wins. Because not everyone checks out. Just the only person that checks out is the person that, you know, wins the auction. Or the, the bidding, I should say. That would be that. Ignore that. That's oh, only when, if I were to play that during this phase, but not as a product. Oh, I see. It has the cell icon on it, but I can also use it for stars. I'm gonna use him and discard. This one. This one. All right, so that means I've got three stars, so I have to beat you there. Um, so you've got four, one, two, three, four stars. I need two more stars to beat you. Um, not worth it. Um, I guess you can have them. You can have the thief. Great. So I keep that. This is discarded. And, mm -hmm. yeah, so this goes discard. You helped me out compared to that stupid thief, so thanks, guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, how much money did you get from him? Four? Oh, yeah. Four measly. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Uh, my turn. I am going to buy... Oh, of course you are. <laughs> Man. Hmm. I will spend two to buy, let's go with the uh, dragon roll. All right, and it's your turn. I will... is soul sacrifice. Oh, is that when you banish something? So what now? What is the soul sacrifice? Um, that little tag. Banish a staff card in your store. Look at the top three cards of the store deck. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the stock deck. Add one to your hand, banish the rest. That means trash it permanently. And then discard this card. But what is soul? Is that so? Every time we banish something, it says soul sacrifice. A little. That's factor. just it's the soul sacrifice is describing what the card does. Uh, the the description is in that card. Okay. So that means kill an employee <laughs> to look at three cards, keep one, <laughs> banish the other two. And these are just regular? Yeah, there's no abilities down here. Um, okay. Um, okay. 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 Let's do something weird. Great. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to use this card. You may take two additional actions this turn. Okay. And I will do this one. Okay, so you pay three for this. Yeah. And my second action will be to use its action. You can. Okay. So you buy it, first action. Second action, use. So murder is at uh, face up staff. Banish a staff. Yeah, any staff. Yeah, so if he's face so, down, you can get rid of him. He's banished. And now look at the top three. And this is discarded because I can't use it. Right. And now that's is you keep one and banish the other two. Is that what it says? Yes. All right. Here, that, those stock cards? Yeah, uh, right here? Y yeah. Those are banished. This is all banished. Okay. My turn? Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, no surprise, I'm going to buy a cart. Um, I'm going to buy this green one for two. And your turn. I'll buy this fixture for two. All right. I am going to buy this card for two. Okay. Uh, fighter. No ability, five money. Uh, and he only wants red. Okay. So, um, all you. I'm going to use this. To do what now? And make a wild change, out of something? Yeah. Okay. Change it to that. So that's five right there. Alright. Wow, five stars. Um Actually, I didn't even have to do that. Can I take that back? Okay. Make a wild that uh, no, no. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Five stars. <laughs> okay. That's six, seven. Seven stars, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I have to come up with seven stars mm -hmm. on red, and that's no. So no. you can have them, you win uh, okay. six, uh, five. Yeah. So five gold, and okay. this goes discard. Yeah. And that's it. And it's your turn. My turn. I am going to pay... Can you do a discount token? I am. Whoa. Three money. Four minus one is three, so I get two back to take a stock card at random, and that's what I end up with. Okay. You didn't even use your discount token? I did! Oh, was it permanent? It's permanent. Oh! My God! Pretty sure it's permanent. Good Lord. Okay, that's fine. I'm initiating that guy. I mean, if it isn't, then... No, if it is, it is. I mean... I didn't, I didn't think to think about that, honestly. Mm -hmm. Um... Wow, that's crazy. Looking real quick, I don't see it in here off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. Discount, discount, discount. I don't see it. Mm -hmm. it we'll figure it out later. So it's you're going to initiate this yeah. guy? Scouts. It's a five green. All right, so you get to initiate that. This is three, four, five, six. Six stars, huh? Mm -hmm. Only green? Mm hmm. Okay, well. That in mind, um, one, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's for any color? Wow, yeah. that's crazy. Okay, well, I can't beat that, actually. So, uh, you win him. So you get five money. And where's the... <sighs> All right. And last round, well, last, not. well, not yet. Oh, business. I get a turn, you get a turn. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, I'm going to spend three to buy another thing. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Okay, there's that. And that's that. So now uh, you get to go. Do I get a turn? You get a turn. I'm going to banish a stock from my hand, or my reorder pile. Okay. Or my hand. Oh no, it has to be hand or reorder pile. It cannot be in the stock card, right? No. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'll banish this one, and I will gain two coins. Okay. And then flip this card. Okay. So that was the last turn for this round. Mm -hmm. um, now we clean up uh, with stuff. Uh, so we're going to discard everything, keep one if we want. However, this says for every card we discard, huh? we get a coin. Look at you. I've got a lot. You're rich. Well, maybe. I want to keep one. So I'm going to keep this one, but the rest is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight cards, eight money. Wow. Nice. I'm actually going to keep mine. One, you have to keep oh, one, okay. not both. That's fine. Sorry. So you discarded one. Yeah. So you get one money. Okay. That's fine. Um, okay. 
Now, uh, whoever's the quiet, uh, quiet, uh, refresh fixtures. Mm -hmm. Whoever has the quietest store. Uh, what's the sum of your adventures? I've got 15, 22, 26, 34. I think you've got that. 29 plus 16. You, you've got it. I'm going to take three money. Okay, one, two, three. All right, and now we clean these up. Banish? You got a wood with cards. <laughs> Not necessarily. So good. Uh, last round. One, two, three, four. I forgot to drop to five. Did you drop to five cards? No. I was winning on your word, Master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And the new daily bulletin, the last one. Mm -hmm. Each manager pays one less when buying stock fixtures or staff from the queues this day. Minimum cost one. So basically everything in this array is one coin cheaper. Wow, dude. Okay. And you have the initiative token, so you get to go first. Okay. I will, what is this? Each manager, ugh. Most of this looks to put on my gosh. I will use this. Okay. To do what? And banish this card and draw from my pile. Okay. Now it is your turn. All right, I'm gonna buy these for one. These cost three. This card reduces it by one. This reduces it by one to a minimum of one. So I spend one coin nice. to buy that. It is your turn. Uh, this was used, sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this, banish another stock from your hand. Okay. And draw three cards. My gosh. One, Two and I have to shuffle, and it's your turn. <laughs> okay. I am going to. Uh, I'm going to buy this for two. I have a minus one here and a minus one here. That's two from four. So I will take that. Did I take one card or two? I don't. Wasn't paying attention. Oh, I think it took two. I think it took... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Five. I started off with five. Discarded it to do the one. Oh my gosh, I don't remember. Four, five, six. Yeah, okay, no, that's fine. Okay, six cards, okay. I'll do this one again. It says it again. Wow. Banish another stock card from your hand and draw three. One. My gosh. Two, three. Okay. All right. I am going to buy this one for one. <laughs> minus one, minus one, three minus two is one. Yeah. I use so many freaking cards, dude. <laughs> I am not Walmart. <laughs> wow, dude. No one's buying, but you know. I'm gonna initiate. All right. Apprentice comes with five money, only blue cards. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you get to initiate. So what are you gonna do? Um, I'll stick with three. One, two, three. Can I do that? Yeah, you can do that. 
Um, I'm gonna go with, um... Let's do that one. It's five. Five stars. You've got so many cards, I'm just saying. So that gives you how much now? Two, three, four, five. Oh, oh crap. Need one more. one more. Mm -hmm. Fudge nuggets. Alright, fine. I'll do that for this then. <laughs> six. Alright, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I um, guess I'll play this one. Um, this stock has plus one for each other stock. So it's five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I have nine there. You have so many cards, you can just do it all the time. You know what? <laughs> I don't like that mage thing that you have. <laughs> that's, that scares me. <laughs> but that's overkill. I feel like the next bit I'm gonna do You know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. I can't. I'm going to that. spend this to keep my apprentice stone in my hand. Uh, this one is just discarded. I had a combined value of 12, but that's five. I get five coin. Yeah. Um, this comes to me, and it is my turn. Um, I am going to buy... This one for one, and it is your turn. I'll initiate. Initiate again. Okay. Um, this is seven Vanguard. Seven coins has a red and blue. React after checkout. Gain a Fighter's Guild rep token. Okay, that answers that question. Uh, grants you plus one star um, when selling to adventure. Okay, so if whoever wins this gets a red token. Okay. Uh, so what are you going to start with? Red and blue. Start with this one. That's two, four, five, no, two, three, four, five. Five. All right, well, here is, let's go with uh, six. Now I have to like make sure that that's just a trade. <laughs> yeah, no, there's nothing special going on there. Not yet. <laughs> All right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, fine, uh, so this is nine. Ten. Jeez, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, fourteen. Whilst being sold, the stock has plus one for each other stock. Okay, so you've got, wow. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, what? One, two, three, four, five. And then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Mm -hmm. All right, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine plus five is fourteen. Um, so you've got fifteen? Is that what I heard? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, I can't match that. So you win, you get the Vanguard and the Fighter token. You get um, seven coins. <sighs> All right, my turn. Mm -hmm. I will initiate. Oh, damn it. These do not take effect now. <laughs> I saw, oh, is that what that is? So this Ranger has uh, 10 money, double green, one red. Um, okay. 
So I will start with, um, my gosh. I guess I'll just use the ones I already had. Um, so we'll do for the reds. We've got eight. Yeah, one. It's seven, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and these ones I used before. So that's eight. I think that was this one. Oh, damn. Nine. Nine? Ooh, okay. Um, let's go with... This is eight. So nine plus eight is 17. Because the double green. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 21. Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm just kidding, go ahead. I get it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, none of these take effect that I can see, so this 10 is all I get. So these go discard and keep this one. And I initiated that, mm -hmm. so we each get one more turn. Yeah, I just initiated, so you get a turn, I get a turn. For what? What do I do? Well, you can use, you can buy, or that's it. <laughs> uh, I can blindly buy? Mm -hmm. You just have to hope that the card you get is uh, four or better in terms of cost. It's going to cost you four to buy a card. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get a repeat of last time. <laughs> uh, no, I think I'm okay. Unless... No, it doesn't seem... Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. You're good? Yeah. Okay. It's a lot of money. Um, I don't know. I mean, at this point, I don't think it's... I, I could take the chance that it, it would be three or better. It would have to be three or better if I were to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, I could take the chance and hope that it's... Hope it's not a two card. I, I guess I'll take a chance. Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm going to spend three. Mm -hmm. Or four minus one. And let's hope that this is... Okay, it's the same three. Okay. Nice. So I, I m evened. Mm -hmm. Alright, well that's it. Um, now there are special rules for day five, which I need to actually look up because I've never made it this far. Mm -hmm. Alright, so um, let's see. Final sale action. Um, play continues clockwise, and it's the end of the day. Store closing. Nope. After day five is complete, all adventure marts go on an exciting corporate review. Players work out their final net worth, the total amount of gold they have in the following way. First, set aside all staff and basic stock. So any purple cards that you have go off to the side, plus any staff members that you have. Um, so all your purples, just, get, just put them... Wow. That's all I had. Oh, I have this deck over here. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, so there's that, and these are all purple, and purple, okay. So these are all of my purple starter cards that I had. Let me go off to the side. I had two. I can banish you them. banished them all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> any employees? No. No, oh, okay. Um, okay, next, um, Total up the buy cost of each stock you own. Oh my lord. So, like, okay. You won just the, with stock alone. Not necessarily. So. Wow. Because I don't, I'm not gonna remember anything. Um, Sixty, twenty-five. Okay. 
Uh, add up the buy cost of each fixture. 4, 2, 2, 2. So that's 6, 8, 10. Yes. 10. 10. <laughs> 10. Um, add all of the coins you have earned. I have 18. I have 15. 21. Okay, 21. Thank you. And calculate any gold earned from review bonuses on cards. Um, oh, like the oh, yeah, the I review, see. yeah. So the pink two numbers for each other fighter skill adventure. Okay, so it's gonna take a while. <laughs> There's that, there's that, this is not, this is not. Okay, so add two number for each other. So these do not count. So this is two, four, six. So it's just six points. Six points for the cards, but then I have a review for the ledgers. What do you mean six points for the cards? Because add two for every oh, other. Oh, I, for, I forgot about these reviews. Yeah, all yeah. right, so I need to go through these. Yeah. All right, there's one. All right, I only have the one review. Add two to your net worth for each other Black Forest card. I wasn't even paying attention. Um, let's see if any of these are Black Forest. That's it. Okay. So four for that. Yeah, twelve. Twelve for this? Six for the cards and six for the adventure ledger. Okay. Yeah, I thought I would earn more too, but I, I didn't. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's it. Um, the highest total wins. You've got <laughs> six, eight, two, that's three, five, sixty-eight. Wow, that was almost... Enough for my stock <laughs> cards. Stock. 70, 88, uh, 94, 98, mm -hmm. roughly. So 10 30, points. 30 point lead there. 30 points, sorry. <laughs> so what did you think of Adventure Man? I hated this game. <laughs> Are you serious? I hated it. Even when I was winning, I hated it. Really? You were so excited to play I, I, this. I, when I... Okay, the first time I you heard played it, it on Tabletop oh, top Simulator. The, the first time I well, no, I, I didn't play it at all. I, I was going to, but then like they exited out. So oh, okay. It was unfortunate. I wish I could have played it. But the first time I heard of this, I thought it was an actual like shopping game. This is more of a card take that deck building nasty bidding game. <laughs> and it's, you don't like the I like the shop aspect of it. There is a lot of take that, which I don't I, like. I don't even like the shop aspect because it feels not, it just feels like an auction. It doesn't feel like a shop. It feels like an auction. Mm -hmm. And um, even if I won, I, I wouldn't have liked it. Even when I was winning, I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. And I just don't like that whole comp competitive bidding type of you stuff. You don't like bidding games, period. I don't like bidding You don't games like auction games. All. You don't like bidding. There's a lot of bidding <laughs> with the cards in your hand. Yeah. What's overpowered, I think, like, my strategy was to, Bye. like, I saw that you were winning over so many customers. I'm like, in the beginning. So I'm like, okay, all I, well, my goal now is I have to buy up as many of these stocks as possible. I, I made sure that all of my purchases mm -hmm. would be cheap. Every time I purchased something, mm -hmm. I would get bonus at the end of the game. Like, you're paying three money to get a card. Let's say normal price. You're paying, say, five money to get a, a card that costs five. Yeah. So you're not really gaining any money there for end game scoring. However, when you make a card cheaper, mm -hmm. every time I purchased something at a discount, I was getting an extra victory point or two at the end of yeah, the game. Yeah, I know. So I was buying up as much as I could by utilizing my discounts. I, I knew you were going to win like that because after I bought these two fixtures, I needed to get initiative just to get these two to activate otherwise. Mm. But in doing so, you kept buying all the cards and I could not buy the cards. Otherwise, you would have had initiative and I wouldn't have had these two bonuses. Mm -hmm. So it was like, oh, it was it was tough. But I, I the balance seemed off because these adventure guilds, these adventure peoples, they they didn't score as much as I thought they would. Like on yours and on mine, 
it seemed like you really had to try for stock. Like, I feel like stock was the way to go. These helped mid-game mm -hmm. when determining who... Uh, I, I think these need to be more powerful mm -hmm. because you had more than I did. The, well, and actually, I had roughly the same yeah. amount. Yeah, the guild token was useless. I, I guess I earned that. That's only... At, at the end of the game is when you earn that. And that's a, that's a token that you would want at the beginning of the game. Yeah. So that it, it has more of an effect. But I earned you, it too late. Well, it's not your fault. That adventurer came up yeah, it's late RNG. in round five. Yeah, so there is a randomness element there. I think the fixtures are freaking powerful. <laughs> yeah, I, I only focused on fixtures. The way I saw it, staff took away from my victory point value. Yeah. So I math in my head, I'm like, why would I why would I give up victory mm -hmm. points to use a one off ability then have to mm -hmm. So I ignored the staff completely and focused yeah. on repeatable abilities. That's all I did. Let me see let me see those middle twos. These? Yeah. Well these three are the same. Oh let me see them. They're so they, there's no flip ability either. That's insanity dude. Yeah there may that one may be a little overpowered. Marshall one less so you got so many items for cheap and just stocked up. And, on and the every time items. I bought something at discount, I got an additional victory point. Because whether the, if my money came, like again, five money to buy something at mm -hmm. cost, five victory points, five victory points. There's no win yeah, there. But at discount, money into card, <laughs> I got a... Uh, you, you didn't even have to buy, like, uh, you didn't even have to sell to the adventure. No, I was just, I guess, just being Walmart wins. I mean... <laughs> That's how it turned out. Yeah. I, I, I didn't... I think, like you're right, I think there are some balance issues here. Mm -hmm. I like the quality of the game. I love that, like... The quality. The good. art is fantastic. The red, the orange, the green, the blue. Like, I love the art. It's beautiful. And these, these cute characters, mm -hmm. that is... These are awesome. So, for 30 bucks, I think this is a great game. There's a lot of value here. I just think that it could have been improved in one or two areas to address some balance issues. But other than that, I would play this again. I liked it. I would love to play this again with AI. <laughs> yeah. I would love a computerized version of this. Yeah, I, don't I say that all the time, but I would love it. People are too smart for me, so I want to play with AI. <laughs> oh, boy. You know what? You say that every time. But I'm sorry. I'm listen, sorry. you win half of our games. I do not. Half. I yes, do you not. do. You took... Folks, watch our entire board games playlist. You will see that she wins half the time, That's if not, not more. True. It's totally true. And for every one, she complains that she doesn't get no. it. She doesn't get it. Oh, I won. Oops, I won. No, with every one game. Yeah. Okay. All you right. Win like twelve. <laughs> But that's okay because you, you, you've you been at this for a lot longer. You know the whole strategies of things. Not necessarily. Um, Some games are very unique. This is a very unique game. There's not a whole lot of games like this. Like when you look at a worker placement game. Oh yeah, Lords of Waterdeep. I've played that. and Oh, I've played... I've, I know how to do worker placement. This game is a little different. This took me a little bit longer to learn because of how unique it was. I don't know too many other games like this. Mm -hmm. With a shopkeeper theme... Um, where you've got fixtures that you can buy and hire staff like this felt like a video a, a, a video game mm -hmm. You know like shopkeep for I thought it was gonna be more like like we each had our own shop and we would sell to our own set of customers Yeah, like I don't know like there was one other there's a game in there called RPG Merchant Tycoon yeah. that you have not played. Oh, okay. Um, but I did cover a long time ago. It was it's on um, it's on one of the indie sites where you can make your own stuff. There's one Game Crafter. There's one that we played that was very shoppy. Mm -hmm. You know, you sold customers. I think it was like a blacksmith shop or something. And that yeah. was pretty fun. <laughs> I would play this again. It's not my favorite game, but I gotta stress the art but, and the color. The color just pops out. Yeah. I love it. So super kudos to the designer of the art and all. Like that is this is brilliant. Mm -hmm. I will just it's beautiful. I love the look. I mean this this whole adventure mart. You know, I just it's cute. It's it's mm -hmm. poppy. It, it the color just pops out. I love it. So great job with everything there. Quality components. The cards are great. The coins are great. Mm -hmm. Again, my only issue was with the gameplay. Certain things just sometimes didn't make sense. I was expecting these to be more impactful mm -hmm. at the end of the game. They weren't. 
Um, you know, and again, my strategy felt overpowered with these discount mm -hmm. cards. Mm -hmm. I was just running away with constantly buying stuff. And I don't know if it was just lucky on my part or, you know, what. But I, I was expecting you to earn more points yeah. somehow than I did with, with what you were doing. I don't, I don't know. know. Luck of the draw, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Adventure Mart. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince and Natalie. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.